Welcome to today's review. We're going to check out the brand new FMS Ranger 1220 millimeter 48 inch ready to fly beginner RC airplane. This one that I have has everything in the box that you need to fly, including the battery, the charger, and it even comes with a set of floats. Uh, and also it comes with a radio. So we're gonna pair it up with the radio, make sure everything is good. So let's go ahead and uh, build it up real quick. Probably will take us about 20 minutes to set it up and then we'll charge up the battery and we'll take you out flying. Here we go. All right, guys, welcome to the field. We're gonna fly the Ranger 1220 now, and we're gonna get it up in the air with the Fly Scott transmitter that we have here. We're also gonna fly on a 3S2200 battery up front. I'm gonna move that battery as far forward as I can get it to kind of give it the best CG for this plane. That's, that's what I'm gonna recommend to you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and test out all the different flight modes on here. We're gonna do stabilize, gyro only assistance without stabilization, and then the full manual mode. See if we can do some kind of rolls and loops with this plane. But as a beginner plane, it's nice that you can start out in stabilized mode. So also it looks like they have this price uh, for this plane at 249. That's like with the floats. So I, I think that's a pretty good deal considering how big this plane is. But I guess for me, as a more experienced pilot, I'm wondering what the performance is that I'm gonna get for $249. But let's go ahead and show you some of the specifics now about the plane. And after that, we'll do that flight test. And I'll show you some GoPro footage up here as well. Some 4K GoPro footage on the Ranger 1220. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the transmitter now. That's gonna hear, you're gonna hear a little bit of a beep. We'll plug in our GoPro. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and plug in the battery. Make sure your switches are all up and away and that your throttle is all the way down to zero. And it's always a good idea to kind of stand to the side or behind the plane when you plug something in, just in case you hit the throttle. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is check my all my surfaces to make sure everything is good here. Left, right, up, down, left, right on the rudder. That looks good. And we have our steerable nose gear and we have throttle. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna taxi around. There's not a lot of wind right now, so I'm just gonna kinda, you know, kinda go ahead and uh, come back around, give myself some distance between the curb here. That's just such a cool looking plane. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll take off to my left. And it went up pretty good. And right now I feel like it's in kind of gyro mode, but we're gonna go ahead now. We're gonna try the next mode. Man, that's smooth. How does that look up there, guys? Hopefully the GoPro is recording. I'm about three quarters throttle on on a nose up configuration there, uh, keeping that nose up. You can use a little rudder in your turn, that kind of helps you stay level. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead down to the next mode. And now it looks like I'm in, I don't know if I'm in full manual right there or not, because it's so smooth. You should see a little aerial from the drone up there as well. I'm just gonna do a little buzz in the tower. I'm in full manual mode right now, so. If you want to, we can go, you know, that's full throttle right there on that battery. Um, seems okay. I don't know if I want to do a roll or not. There we go, a little roll. Lost a little bit of altitude right there. Okay, and now it's in stability mode. So if I let go of the stick, it's gonna bring me back to level. Isn't that cool? Just do a kind of a circular circuit right now. So it's really mild and tame right now on this, this stabilized mode. This is a lot of fun. So if you're a beginner, look at this, just let go of the stick and back to level. And one of the golden rules of flying RC airplanes is never fly behind yourself. Like it's the biggest piece of advice. Keep it out in front of you. So like right here, even like over my head, not a good place to be. Most of the uh, old school guys will Tell you not to do that. I mean, you don't want to crash into your own your own head there. Don't be a helmet head. All right, so we did a barrel roll. Now with full throttle, it's not gonna let me do any flips or rolls in stability mode. 
You know, I wonder if this this plane would knife edge. It, it may be a little more nimble with the 1300 because you know, 2200 milliamp, I, I've got it way down a little heavier, but it had no problem taking off. It took off in probably like 15 feet. So that's pretty good. Now, one of the characteristics of this plane is that it's supposed to have a really high efficiency wing on here so I can fly at slow speeds. So check that out. That plane looks pretty good up there, doesn't it? So right there is about half throttle and I'm just kind of like cruising low altitude around the field. That's super cool. One of my favorite planes ever was the Twist 40. I don't know if you guys remember that one, but the Twist 40 was a nitro plane, had a big wing, low wing, but it was really wide wing and super efficient. So it would kind of float really slow around the field. It's so cool. So this is a, a really fun experience. Like definitely one that I like to get my son in on. This is a great trainer plane for anybody who has a son or daughter who wants to get into flying RC airplanes, like super easy to fly. I feel like I just come in and like do an easy touchdown landing, but like <laughs> the cool thing is I haven't found the stall point yet. And that, you know, that gyro and stability mode is really helping me out with that. Isn't that cool? Look how freaking slow and low this, this baby goes. Look at this, buzz the tower at like two feet off the ground. Oh my God, that is awesome. So it said it would fly straight up on a full throttle um, you know and that's that's pretty good it's not winning any like power or aerobatic awards but it's definitely like an easy Sunday flyer look at that I just went behind myself don't do that it's against the RC laws I'm just kidding so this is cool because you can practice all your orientations. I mean, it's kind of like a big simulator. <laughs> you can fly your figure eights. Oh, there's a little bit of a wingtip stall right there. It kind of slid around on that turn. But again, like I'm in stability mode, so it just put me right back in to stable. And hopefully you guys can see some recording from the drone over here. I have the drone recording. So it's gonna check on that. It's still recording. I wonder if, you know, I wonder if I can fly the drone and the airplane at the same time. That's probably against some kind of law, isn't it? Two aircraft at once, but here it comes at me. Super slow. I'm, I'm below half throttle right there when I was coming back around at myself. So a little bit of headwind, this thing will really float at a low throttle. And in stability mode, it's almost hard to make a stall mistake. Like the biggest mistakes beginners make, oh, I touched the wheel, is like, stalling out at slow speed but look at how efficient that wing is that's crazy <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> i love it stability mode i don't even want to fly manual mode that's that's pretty sad for me because uh yeah you know, i've been flying rc airplanes my whole life and i really do love fly manual so let's go ahead now and uh, you can see we're in manual mode again and i can do barrel rolls i could do a, hopefully i can do a loop there we go there was a loop. We should come over here under the drone and go nose into the wind and attempt a loop. Hopefully you guys can see that. That was cool. Just a big over loop of a little bit of a stall there. Turns pretty good. Man, this is so much more fun than the smaller Ranger. I mean, the smaller Ranger is nice to start out with, but you know what they say in RC airplanes? The bigger they are, the easier they are to fly, I swear to God. If you had a six foot wingspan plane and you flew that, size is intimidating, but it flies so much better, I promise you. The small ones are actually harder to fly in a, in a lot of ways. They're cheaper to buy, but one of my first RC airplanes I bought getting back into it was a small, a small little hobby zone Cessna. I don't know if you guys remember that one. It was kind of a burgundy color, burgundy and white. That little plane flew terrible. So fast forward like uh, 15 years later and here we are with the Ranger. Oh, accidentally got a little too low there. There's a lot of elevation change right here in this field. So that was good though. Let's check out uh, this nose cone. It really took a hard biff. So nose cone flew off and 
see if we have any damage to the bottom of the plane. Okay, we have a ton of grass and mud here. That was an unintentional durability test. So this wheel right here, with that whatever patented blah 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 system they have up here, tons of mud and stuff there. And yeah, I don't even break a prop. That's that's good. That's really good, you guys. <laughs> now, I'm kind of wondering if I could take off in this grass. This is some pretty high grass. I'm gonna put this in my pocket right now because we're just gonna fly without it. Uh, it looks really cool, but I don't know if with that bendy front nose wheel, if I can take off right here, but you know what? I'm gonna give it a try. I'll put it in stability mode. And tricycle landing gear is not great, not great for yeah, any type of grass. So, yeah. You need really flat, well manicured grass or like maybe some kind of uh, light gravel parking lot. But right here should be completely fine. And the wind's coming across this way and I really wanna, I really wanna take off this way because I don't like taking off downwind. That's never good. So that front nose wheel, like there is pros and cons to having it bend like that. Like, like I was talking about before, like I feel like, you know, uh, it can it can have a prop strike because when you're in the grass like we just tried to take off the nose wheel bent down a little bit and the prop struck the grass so I think our drone batteries die in there so we might have to come down and land here in a minute but look at that it almost it almost in a hover look at that right nose into the wind I don't want to end up in that tree over to my right so let's come down and let's try to land on the pavement now and it'll be a good landing because well one because i'm a good pilot i'm a decent pilot and then two the wind's coming from behind me so that's going to help us keep the nose up on the landing just going to look left and right here make sure nobody's coming i'm going to come in long and low all the old school rc airplane guys say long and low justin keep the nose up let off the throttle a little bit level out your wings and we are on the ground, you guys. That was cool. Now, unfortunately for my FPV flight, we did have a cable break off the back. Uh, my soldering didn't work out so great on this unit. So um, unfortunately, that's about the end of the flying part of this review. Uh, but hopefully you have some cool GoPro footage from the onboard and from the drone upstairs and from the hat cam. But we'll go ahead now and we'll uh, take a little uh, last overlook and, and kind of commentary on what, what's my opinion about the Ranger 1220. 58 inch high wing ready to fly trainer. Uh, so far it's really cool. All right guys, now the flight test is done. Whenever I fly a brand new airplane, it always makes me nervous. Um, today I'm not nervous, I'm actually super happy and I, and I feel great. Like, I feel like I should go off with my guys right now and have some beers. Um, it is that kind of feeling after you have a successful flight. It gives you that little pump of adrenaline. And that's how I feel right now because it, it is, you know, challenging to fly an RC airplane. And with the Reflex V2 on here, the stabilized mode with gyro assistance, it makes it fun. It makes it feel like a Sunday flyer. It's kind of super slow. And I, I was amazed, you know, some of the pros about this plane are that it has a really slow nose up, slow flying, low stall point across the field. You can fly, you know, a foot to two foot off the ground and just go so slow by you. That's like the funnest thing to me in RC airplanes, being able to, to, to slow it down and fly slow. I mentioned that Twist 40 that I had earlier. It had a big wide wing on it and it was super efficient and it was just it was a nitro, but I could get it in a low idle and that thing would just putt across the field. I also like that FMS has this like you know, in finger quotations, patented uh, nose wheel front technology. This really did save us today because when we came in, like I was enjoying that low, you know, low uh, stall speed around the, the, the course, around the grass here. And I came in a little bit low and I caught that front wheel and it nose over and that nose wheel bent, it bent all the way back. You can see it'll touch the bottom of the fuselage there. Now the prop did strike the grass and there's a ton of mud up inside this big giant spring on the front, but I didn't break the nose wheel. And I don't know how many times I've had a brand new plane, it brought it out and I break off that front nose wheel or the landing gear. So 
The landing gear didn't break off. It has a pretty robust setup down here. You have the other spot for the floats later, which we'll try in the next video. Uh, but this little spring right here actually works pretty good. So good on you F FMS for, for doing that and making that work out good. Uh, like the holy grail of RC airplane flying is putting this back in your car and not having everything broke when you're going home and having to wait for parts in the mail. Uh, and that's the other thing about parts. You can get parts from FMS. This company has all the parts on their website. You guys can check out the link down below. If you enjoyed this video today, grab one from my link. It benefits the channel because this is my full-time job. This is my own opinion. I don't get paid to make videos and we survive on, uh, yeah, your patronage on the channel. So I appreciate you. If you enjoy this information, please do. Check out my link if you decide to start your journey in flying RC airplanes. It is just so much fun and I've been addicted to it since I was a kid. Hopefully I can pass on that joy to you. And again, please do subscribe on the channel, guys. I'm Justin Davis, the FMS Ranger, 1220 millimeter wingspan. Super nice, super fun, ready to fly out of the box. 250 bucks. What are you gonna do? I'll see you on the next one. Take care.